Hi everyone, my name is Jeff Jones. I am a spokesman for theboxman.com where we have changed the way that you should watch TV. Our website is www.theboxmen.com. We are theboxman.com and I want to thank everyone who's able to tune into this video. We'll make it really short and sweet. But to, this evening's video is how to install the Kodi player, the latest one, on a formula device for the best results. Let's get into it. So if you've been in any one of our videos, I've been following any one of my videos, one of the things I really love are our media players. There are several different media players that are very popular. Um, you got something like VLC, you got MX Player Pro, and this Kodi player has been around a very, very long time. And I use it on my personal devices. And in our support group, we have people that really like the player. So they were asking, what are the easiest ways, the best ways to install this player so you're always getting the updates? And before we get into it, let me explain. Sometimes when you sideload or add different applications to your media devices, you got to really be careful where you're getting them from because if they're not going to update like the Kodi player should and does to a stable um, a stable platform, then you're always going to be second guessing and your, your entertainment is going to be lacking. So I prefer two ways. I'm going to show you two ways that I use that are not a secret, but they should be pretty easy for someone to install uh, if you do these correctly. And that way, if you know how to set up Kodi or you go online, maybe Troy Point or Fire TV Sticks with Tanya, they have plenty of places to show you how to upgrade that device. So you, oh, not device, but how to use that player in a different way. Today's video, I'm just going to show you how to install it. The first way I install it is going to by using Downloader. Now, Downloader can be found in the Google Play Store. Um, you got people that use it on the Amazon Fire Sticks, and it looks like this. Now, Downloader lets you sideload, but within the application, you have an internal browser. So the first way that I do it that will guarantee you success is from the Kodi website. So let me go here and I'm going to put the Kodi website here and we're going to just get rid of this really quick. Okay. And, and, and Kodi is a free open sourced player for your entertainment. So that's Kodi.tv. And I'm going to go over here and I'm press OK or go. Now you can make this full screen if you like. I'm going to let this open up. It should take us there. And if you want to make it full screen, you hit the menu button on your remote and then you can make this full screen here again if you like. I don't need to make it full screen. I kind of know where I'm going to go. But I wanted to show you how to do that. So I'm going to hit the back button. Now, if I go down here, you'll see that it gives you a mouse toggle. I'm going to go over here to the three horizontal lines. I'm going to press OK. And then I'm going to go all the way down here to the download page on Kodi. Press OK. And then you can join millions and it'll show you where your platform are. So if you have Windows, if you have Linux, if you have Android, which I do, you got Raspberry Pi, you got Mac OS, Apple right there, TV OS, Web OS, or you can just go ahead and, and um, you know, get the remotes or whatever. You can scan that QR code, but I have an Android. So if I was going to do Android, I would just go right here and then I can choose which way I want to do it. Here is Kodi 21 Omega. You got uh, recommended pre-release development builds. You also have a how-to guide. So I would definitely go down to this one here and I would install Kodi on my device. Doing it this way assures you that if you got it or received this application from the, from the, the player's um, website, you're gonna get the best copy, number one. 
Number two, whenever they update it, or maybe you have an, up, an older version of Cody right now, when you install this, it's gonna update to the latest version. So whenever there's an update, you should go ahead and use that and get the ones that'll allow you to update to the latest version automatically. This is something that I would recommend. That's where you're not fooling around, looking for things, and hoping that things turn out pretty well. This is the number one way that I would get the, the, the uh, application is directly from their website. The second way that I would recommend you're doing it is to go to the Google Play Store. The Google Play Store is what I call the Android device companion. I mean, you have the Google, a form of the Google Play Store on every Android device, whether it's coming from China, Korea, Vietnam, wherever you're getting your Android device, there is either a mobile version of the Google Play Store, but on the formula devices that we use, you got the full version of the Google Play Store. And so I've already put in my Google um, um, email address. And so as you can see, when I open up, there is Cody right there. And you can go ahead and go ahead and install that. It'll give you some screenshots. And you are guaranteed, if you use the Google Play Store, that if you install this application, that when there's an update on it, you can always go to the Google Play Store, click on update, and it will update to the latest version. Or if you want to update to this version, maybe you're running Kodi 20, and now you can get Kodi 21, you can click this to update it to the latest version. Those are the two most stable ways that you can get this great player, this free open source player for your entertainment. The last thing before I close out the video, there is another way that does require downloader. Like you can go to downloader and you can go to home here. And if you have downloader codes, you can get those from Troy Point. You can get those from Fire TV Sticks, Tanya. You can go on YouTube and look for downloader codes for Cody. You can find your own downloader codes and be able to put those codes that'll take you to their website so you can go ahead and install it. Me, I don't recommend it. It's really up to you. Not that they don't update it, but if you can get it from the source, then I would just get it from the source. Or if you could get it from the Google Play Store, it'll save you a lot, lot of time and maybe a lot of headaches from looking for it. So as I close out the video, I want to thank everyone for being a part of the Stream Machines YouTube channel, a part of getting to know the Boxman.com, uh, where we've been in business for well over 13 years. And we really, really want to help you with the best Christmas gifts going on. So in my next video, I will be dropping the best way to get the easiest box for just $165 one time. And you want to get these before December 15th. And we got the deal of a lifetime. So I'll give you access to that video in the next one. And in the next video, you will be able to win uh, a free giveaway of that device and the Z11 Pro Max. So I'll see you guys in the next video. 